Meg here for another Art Feeds Mix. And together today we are going to create a giving chain. But before we get started on that, I want to remind us of the Art Feeds rules. Rule number one, be kind and be creative. So you can tell in the title that this chain we're going to create together has to do with giving. And when you're generous, you're really kind. And when you're kind to yourself and to other people, that grows all our creativity bigger. So today we're really going to be kind and also creative. Rule number two, never say I can't. So when we're thinking of things today or we're using our skills to build this chain together, don't say I can't. Instead say I will try, can you help me, or I can do it. And rule number three, there are no wrong answers. Your giving chain will look different than mine. You might choose different colors. You might have a different size of strip. You might choose some different kindnesses, which we're gonna talk about, but that's not wrong. It just means you're using your own creativity and ours may look different and that's a good thing. So before we move into the project, let's take a look at the simple supplies that we'll need today. You can see that I already pre-cut my strips of construction paper and they're in all types of colors. But if you want your chain to be one color or two colors or just a few colors or even white and color and decorate all over it, that is just fine. Now, what is a giving chain? Well, sometimes we use chains that look like this to maybe count down to a holiday or a special day but we're gonna add an extra twist to it so that instead of just having a chain where you use it as a countdown, instead we're gonna have something you give to others each day. This will challenge us to be more kind and when we're kinder to those around us, that creates a ripple effect or a chain for the people that we're kind to, to then push more kindness out into the world. So what we're gonna do is on these strips of paper, we're gonna think of acts of kindnesses or generosities. And there is a worksheet at artfeeds.org. This is the giving chain worksheet. And you can go there and download that worksheet or just look at it to get some ideas of what you want to put on these strips as kindnesses. So first, let's start there and write kindnesses that we can think of on our sheets of paper together. here. Some of those ideas you saw me write down. Um, right here I have one that says apologize to someone you hurt even if it's hard. So this is a really simple way to be really generous and kind to other people and sometimes the things that are the hardest for us to do are the most generous that we can be. So I'm um, apologizing to someone and admitting you're wrong is kind of hard, right? Um, so that's what I put on this. And then what I'm going to do next is decorate the outside of these. If you have extra paper or you want to decorate with your drawing utensils, you can do that. And then we're going to connect our chain together. Let's get started. <music> have our giving chain. Look at all these colors. It turned out wonderful. Now I'm going to use this chain to count down to a very special day that I'm looking forward to. But each day we will be challenged to do something generous or kind for other people. And it's actually scientifically proven that when you give to others, 
it makes them happy, and it also improves your happiness. So by doing a kind and generous thing and challenging ourselves every day, we're gonna improve the happiness of ourselves and those around us. Pretty neat, right? I would love to see what you create and what your giving chain looks like. I would also love to see your generosities and your acts of kindness. So if you want to take a picture or a video of those things and tag hashtag art feeds makes, we can take a look and cheer you on. Thanks so much for joining me and I'll see you next time.